So as you can tell, the garage is empty. Again, there's not two massive pine pieces right here because we just had a return buyer. That cabinet we purchased, I think like 24 hours ago, 48 hours ago, they drove six hours to come buy it already. They just picked it up and they paid cash. They paid 1200 cash. So we like quick sales and we like quick profits. And as we transition to higher end antiques and as is super antique vintage furniture, it's just such a good feeling because it's like validating everything that we do and feels good. Picking up this hutch right here and it is super old. We like that. And this was free, literally on the side of the road. Super cute. Late night pickups, we're already back at the house, but let me show you this thing. This thing is way cooler than we thought it would be. Check it. So it's the second cabinet right here. This thing is monstrous. This is probably 10 foot ceilings and it's almost at the top. It has some damage right here, which is totally okay because this thing is probably late 18th century. And, huh, yeah. So cool, there's also damage down here. A bunch of the veneer needs to be replaced, so Megan's gonna order some of that and see what she can do and try and save it. Oh, it's over there. But it's got the really cool gator teeth. It's like a library cabinet. Yeah. This thing, so cool. And this was literally free on the side of the road. Oh, it's a secondary. Oh. I thought it was. Yes. I didn't know that. Can you push that button? Right what here? button? Oh, cool. So this is the second secretary we've had. I thought it looked similar to the one we already have in Mahogany. Oh, I think that's the bottom piece though. Oh, the bottom support? Something, something. Huh. Even the knobs are like fully wood. Oh. Well, it's wow. like they kept all the pieces. That makes it. Detail. Makes it. Oh, that's cool. That one's missing, but. Huh. For, you know, surviving 100, 150, almost 200 years. Yeah, the leather in these is in really good condition. And we probably have a key that will fit. Huh. I didn't think these handles were original, but I guess they, they are. might be. Because look. Oh yeah, they've never been re-screwed and never, this wood's never been drilled into, yeah. replaced. So they're definitely original. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it dated? Patent? I never Something. see that. It's a up. very good sign because you can look this stuff up and find the age. Yeah. A much more clear detail. It's also the same thing if you take off these keyhole face plates. Sometimes the manufacturers back then like etched into the year and stuff like that but definitely, definitely worth the 20 minute drive. <laughs> Sweet. Walking up to, you guessed it, the true, the blue, Goodwill, the logo somewhere, but this is Goodwill.
not even like three minutes later. No. Can't do it. The smell is so bad. I don't care. I still like the bins. Yeah, bins suck. I mean, for us, that would be real great. But we came out to Antique Railroads again, or Railroad Street Antique Mall. The guy that owns this, he's been doing it for, you know, 40, 50 years. His dad did it before him for another 30, 40, 50 years. And we're now pretty, pretty, we've, we've bought a couple of things off of him and he'll now be contacting us if he has anything else like this because he knows what we want and we know we pay. So this is one of the most recent ones we picked up today. We saw this last night on Facebook for $350 and we recognized who had it, the seller, which is a long time antique dealer in probably like a 45 minute drive. So we woke up relatively early, 10, 15, but uh, we went out and picked it up and he says he does have more. So Charles, I'm waiting for you to call me back. And here is the other piece that Megan got. We got this one like, I don't even know, weeks. I mean, maybe a month ago right now, but this was in very, very poor condition. And Megan and I did a lot of elbow grease and replaced the entire back piece. And she painted the inside to have it more of like a pop. But this is really trending at the moment. I don't know what these what to call these. These like circle cutouts. They're like for pie cabinets or jelly cabinets. Yeah. Like cutouts. And it has this really cool little latch, which we sometimes like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of spotty. But yeah, like I was saying, the back piece is fully replaced. And this little nail right here is holding the... The drawer divider. Yeah, the drawer divider. And then going over here, this is our kitchen, by the way. This is where we take pictures. You know, work with what you got. This is a commission piece that Megan put this up on her Instagram for sale. And she's on painted white. Someone said I absolutely love, love, love it. And they've already paid for it. So it is done and it looks beautiful. 